Make a Millionaire. I'm Terry Crews. You may know me from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and now I'm doing double duty as your host here on Millionaire. Today's first contestant is a special education teacher who actually uses millionaire game strategies to teach her students life lessons. From the Bronx, New York, please welcome Christine Vaccaro! Now, you actually use strategies for millionaire in your classroom. I do, I do. We just finished our state tests, which are multiple, large part of them is multiple choice. And I always say to my students, remember on old millionaire, the 50-50? Do the 50-50, get rid of two of the questions, and then you got a good shot. You know, we don't have that now, though, unfortunately. But, but that's okay. You know, that's awesome. Well, now, hopefully, they can watch you win a million dollars after teaching them those yes, lessons. I hope so, I hope All so. All right, well, look, let's say hello to our millionaire money tree. 14 questions spread over two rounds with money values going from 100 bucks all the way up to $1 million. Yes. You know how this works. <laughs> Round one has 10 possible questions from that $100 all the way to $25,000. Now we have randomly shuffled the questions and shuffled up the money values too, but if you should make it to round two, you'd be just four questions away from the million. Okay. Now let's talk lifelines. Okay. You have asked the audience, mm -hmm. you have jumped the question, and new for this season, you have the plus one, where you can bring someone you brought with you today down here to help you answer your question. Who did you bring with you today? I brought my dear friend Wayne, who happened with me today. All right, how you doing? Watch her win money. Are you ready to play? I'm so ready. I'm ready to do this. Let's play! Christine, here's your first question. Buick chose the name Century for one of its more popular sedans because it was its first model that what? Would last 100 years, could reach 100 miles per hour, cost $100, could get 100 miles per gallon. Buick chose the name Century for one of its more popular sedans because it was its first model that what? Um, well, it would be wonderful if a car could get 100 miles per gallon. Um, I'm gonna say B could reach 100 miles per hour, final answer. You're right, you're yes! out of here fast! <laughs> Let's get some of that 100 miles per hour. Let's put some more money in this bank. Here it. is your next question. Having the role of trailblazer down pat by now, which actor portrayed Jackie Robinson in 2013 and James Brown in 2014? Rob Brown, Michael B. Jordan, Anthony Mackie, Chadwick Boseman. Um. I believe the answer is D, Chadwick Boseman, final answer. You're not wasting no time, you're right. It's a man's world, but her money, let's see it. A thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars in the bank. Let's keep this thing rolling, we're on a roll, let's go. Bound with radium and uranium, Swedish hobbyist Richard Handel was famously arrested for trying to do what? in his apartment. Clone a frog, split an atom, melt titanium, build a time machine. Found with radium and uranium, Swedish hobbyist Richard Handel was famously arrested for trying to do what in his apartment? Um, I don't think you would need radium and uranium to clone a frog or split an atom or melt titanium. And since he's a hobbyist um, and famously arrested, although I never heard of this, uh, I'm gonna guess D, build a time machine, final answer. 
Sorry, Christine. <gasps> the answer was B, Split and Adam. Oh, oh man, it was so good to have you here. So good. You get $1,000 just for being here. Thank you. We'll be back with Thank more. is Chrissy Breen from Danbury, Connecticut. Make some money. I am ready. All right. Well, let's take a look at the money values in round one. Here they are, from a hundred bucks all the way to twenty-five thousand dollars. We have randomly shuffled the questions, shuffled up the money values too. You got all your lifelines. Are you ready to play? I am ready. Then let's play, millionaire. Here's your first question. Despite numerous complaints. Since 1983, Larry Flint has given every member of Congress a free subscription to what magazine? Hustler, Martha Stewart Living, Popular Mechanics, Sports Illustrated. Okay, so we have to figure out who, what magazine Larry Flint owns. Um, not Martha Stewart Living. I don't think it's Popular Mechanics or Sports Illustrated, so I'm gonna go with A as my final answer. And you are right! Yeah. Let's put some money in our bank! A thousand dollars! That's the way to start this Yay. game! All that money still up there, let's get it. Okay. Here we go. In order to keep kids constantly entertained, what device pairs a common toddler training implement with a tablet holder? I sippy cup, I potty, I tricycle, I booster seat. Okay, a common toddler training implement. I don't think you really train a toddler for a tricycle. This might be a little too old for them. Um, a sippy cup, I don't know if you have to train for either. I'm leaning towards iPod because you would train a little child to go to the bathroom. I know that might be difficult. Um, yes, yeah, so I am going to say B as my final answer. You're right. Yay! Let's put some money in our bank. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand wonderful dollars. This is great. Let's move on okay, to the next question. You're rolling. In a story about robots that resurface ice rinks, the hockey news warned that if you're a professional, what? Seek out alternative employment. Zeppeli maker, Zamboni driver, zebra trainer, zygote analyst. Well, I know the machine that you use to resurface and make all the ice rinks smooth in between quarters is called a Zamboni machine, so I'm going to go with the Zamboni driver as my final answer. You're right. <laughs> Let's see some of that big money in that bank, please. Let's keep this going. Yeah, you got go. all your lifelines. Here we go. In 2013, after performing for 120 people at Carlini Bass, Metallica became the first band to have played a concert where? Underwater, in an active war zone, above 25,000 feet, on all seven continents. Hey. I'm not too sure where Carlini Base is. I'm thinking 2013, performed for 120 people. Underwater, it might be hard to get 120 people underwater for a concert. Um, I'm not too lines. sure, yeah, I think I'm going to 
ask the audience this question. They seem like they're very smart. We're going to ask the audience, okay. Audience, Chrissy needs your help. Grab your keypads and vote now. Okay, the vote is in. Let's take a look. 47% of the audience says B in an active war zone. Do you agree? I was leaning towards B. It's a little less percentage than I'd hoped it would be. You have other All seven lines. continents, though, I mean, they'd have to play in Antarctica, which would be cold, but I almost could see them doing that. You can use yeah, I can more lifelines if you want. Carlini base. Um, I don't know if I want to risk it. What are your thoughts? I was leaning toward active war zone. I was kind of hoping the percentage might be a little bit higher for it. All seven continents now is kind of ringing a bell too, so now I'm a little torn. Um, I have $19,000. $19,000 in the bank, two lifelines remaining. I think to be safe, I'm going to jump this question. You're going to jump the question? Yeah. Okay, Chrissy has decided to jump the question. Let's find out what is the correct answer. Oh, okay. On all Good. seven continents. How much money was that jump worth? That's okay. okay, you're still here to play. Yes. 19000 in your bank. We'll be back with more Millionaire right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Millionaire. I'm here with the lovely Chrissy Breen from Danbury, Connecticut. She's got $19,000 in her bank. Now, you are a recent Yale graduate. I am. And there's another interesting fact is uh, I heard you started studying another language in kindergarten. When I was about four years old, I saw on TV a French film, and I didn't really know what languages were at that point, but I knew I couldn't understand what they were saying, and so I wound up asking my parents if I could take a language, and they found a, ch a charter school that taught languages starting in kindergarten, so, so I started you know it. French. I stopped at high school, though, so I'm not very fluent. <laughs> it's okay. You're still smarter than me. <laughs> That's correct. Are you ready?